Hi guys! My name is Antonio Ramacher and today I want to talk about learning English with native speakers. Nowadays it's becoming more and more popular every day. Instead of just studying English using books and different materials, you practice it with native speakers. You should do both, not just studying, but practicing too. However, there arise a lot of questions here. How to understand native speakers? When to start? What to focus on? And mainly, where to find them? First, to better understand native speakers, try to train your ears. So take time to listen to fast conversations now and then. Watch TV shows, watch television in general, listen to the radio and songs and things like that, listen to podcasts. However, secondly, do not overwhelm yourself. So two minutes will be enough when you start. Listen to a short podcast or watch to a TV show for five minutes or so and then increase the number of minutes. And thirdly, Listen with your eyes, too. Try to watch the person move, watch the gestures, expressions, facial expressions and things like that. It will help a lot. Now, when to start practicing with a native speaker? When you have some basic knowledge of how this or that language works, you are actually ready. But do not take too long, because you might end up swimming on the floor. So, reading and listening to different materials, but not being able to speak fluently. Do you remember Sheldon from the Big Bang Theory? Instead of practicing in water, in the river, in the sea, he was swimming on the floor. Thirdly, what to focus on? You need to understand that most native speakers, who are not teachers, do not tend to be able to explain grammar, so they do not know a lot of grammar, because everything seems to be so natural to them. Native speakers know a lot of vocabulary. They have been learning English for years, <laughs> through all their lives. So they know a lot of phrasal verbs, idioms, informal contractions, interjections, slang and things like that. You can improve, enlarge your vocabulary a lot with native speakers. So use it to your advantage. Now also ask to give a lot of examples, to give you a lot of context. It will help to remember the vocabulary. Working with native speakers is all about listening and speaking actually practicing. Do not waste your time on reading a lot and writing. Try to improve your speaking, because this is the key point here. This is the fear you can improve dramatically with native speakers. And finally, where to find them? First of all, you might use social networks, Instagram, YouTube, you can communicate there, or at least watch videos of native speakers there. However, there's no interaction. And that's what we need most of all here. That's why better use some services which help you interact with native speakers. Communicate. Two-way street, not just listening. I have come across a lot of services and apps like Hello Talk, iTalky and some others, but I didn't like them 100%. And recently I've come across a wonderful service which is called Cambly, where you can interact with native speakers who can explain everything to you. Grammar, vocabulary, they can simply communicate with you and improve your English dramatically. I really enjoyed myself using this app and now let me briefly tell you about it, how you can work with it. First of all, you need to understand that you can use this service anywhere you like. You can be anywhere. On the South Pole, if there's an internet connection there. Also, native speakers there are available 24-7. That is all the time every second of every minute of every day. 
there are native speakers from different countries there. US, UK, Canada, Australia, and they are just a click away. You can start your practice right away, on the spot, instantly. Let's imagine you are at the airport and you have 15 minutes to spare. So you just click and you communicate instantly. There are always tutors available. Or you can make a reservation with a certain tutor. You can find a topic you would like to discuss. There is a list on the website or in the app. And you can work on this particular part of the language. Use your free time to your advantage. Now let me show you how this service works. So type cambly.com or find the application in the App Store. Sign in and scroll down to find the available tutors and start your class. Maria, can I ask you a couple of questions about two phrases I don't quite understand? Can you elaborate on them? Sure. So the first phrase is to be in the zone. Can you explain? Yeah. Okay, so to be in the zone is like um, you're focused. Mm -hmm. So it, it means you're kind of focused and, and blocking everything else out. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay, it's quite simple. Can you give a sample sentence? Um, hmm. When I'm watching my favorite show, don't ask me to help you mm -hmm. with anything because I'm in the zone. <laughs> okay, thank you very much. <laughs> Let's give Sharia five stars and five stars for the connection. Submit. And then we can review our classes. Watch them again. Watch the video, play. Yeah, how are you? Hi, I'm fine, thank you, and, and you? I'm fine, thank you. <laughs> By the way, if you follow the link in the description box, you will have 15 minutes free, so you can check it out right now. Go there and click. As for me personally, I like practicing with native speakers and I try to communicate with them whenever I have some free time and I have an opportunity to do so. So I advise you to do the same. Anyway, that's it for today. I hope that you liked this video lesson. If you have any questions as to learning English or any foreign language with native speakers, feel free to write a comment downstairs there in the comment section, in the comment box. And I hope to see you soon. Happy English practice. Bye. I just have a couple of minutes to spare to practice a little bit.